Hey guys, Taylor Man here. Uh, this is my full review on the Easton E700 helmet. Sorry, my face looks kind of weird. The sun's like shining right because I'm standing right in front of a window. Right in my eyes. But all right, now let's get on to the review. Um, this is my Easton E700 helmet with the black FM580 cage, uh, which I really like so far. And uh, yeah, but this review is about the helmet, not the cage. So let's get on to that. So first of all, Easton probably it. This helmet was probably one of the smartest hockey helmets made. Um, it's more comparable to the S17 helmet because it's featuring the gyro system, um, which is a really nice system because Easton decided to go with a true one-piece shell design, so you can't ad adjust the length of it and stuff. But it's so much stiffer than any other helmet on the market. You can't even flex it at all. Um, yeah, but the problem that they had with the S19, it had the same shell as this, but the problem that people had, they couldn't adjust it, so people didn't want to buy it. So that is why Easton featured the gyro system in this helmet. So they kept the one-piece shell design to keep it really light and stiffer, but they add the gyro so you can adjust it um, wider, longer, whatever you want. Um, so that's a great feature. Um, also, the earpieces are removable. You just pop right out like that. And then you just pop them back in. Like this. They slide through little latches. And make sure, don't be afraid to pull them out. At first, I was. Because I thought it would, like, break the pieces on the side. But actually, it they're really stiff and they will not come out. So, what Easton did, they put a uh, regular foam, stiff foam padding um, all around the helmet and then they put this soft, this nice soft padding inside. Um, it's really good for your head. It's almost like it's a memory foam type of material and the gyro system adjusts on this little latch in here so you can just pull that to where you want to adjust it. See, so click it up, push it back down. Um, it's almost, it works two ways because it can be like, um, like you see in the Bauer React, it's almost like a swing for your head. This holds the back of your head so it kind of keeps your head in place, uh, which is really good. Um, so overall design of the helmet looks great. Um, really good vent holes. Um, yeah, we, I got the sleek black finish, uh, not the matte black. But um, this is a really nice helmet. I like the air loops on it. Um, yeah, that's the great overall design of it. Um, so you can see, uh, mine's a medium, so on the padding it says M in it. Um, the padding is, all the padding is removable, so it's Velcro. See, like that. Just peel it right off. And then you just stick it back on. And it's like brand new. So this helmet is extremely light, extremely protective, and the gyro system works great on it. So that's my review of the Easton E700. Uh, I would definitely suggest picking it up. Um, but there is no cage combo that comes with this helmet. So you're going to have to buy a separate cage. Um, that's. So I went with the FM580, like I said, and um, that's pretty much it. I suggest this helmet. Uh, this cage cost about 40 bucks, so overall this helmet costs about like, 220 bucks because it's about 180 at your local hockey dealer. So thanks for watching, guys. I highly suggest this helmet. It is great. Um, I've used it for about two months, and it just held up amazing amazing. So I strongly suggest it once again. Yep guys that's my full review. Sorry I kept you waiting so long and uh, yep I suggest you get this helmet. It's extremely nice and thanks for watching. Comment right and please subscribe. And also a shout out to Hockey Sniper x 87 and subscribe to his new channel AP Hockey Snipes. And subscribe to Hockey Science 91. His he has about he has like 100 subs, so 
10 more subs when this contest is over. So thanks for watching and subscribe to those people.